<laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? It's the hero. And last time, that fucking pig thing scared the shit out of us, and he led us into this door. So now we're just trying to get out of here. Don't want to let that fucking thing catch up with us again. <laughs> and we've got to put those kids in their place. Jesus, do those kids run, man? They run. What are they, fucking Sainik? Sainik the Hedgehog? Sain <laughs> Saintic? Fucking Blonic, the original character? What? What is this shit? Do I have to fill up another one of those? Oh god, dead piggies again. Those fucking dead piggies are everywhere. Why do they seriously love having dead piggies around? It is truly and utterly disgusting. Oh god. Oh god. When you've got creepy music playing in the background, that's when you know creepy shit's going on. <laughs> Whoever's playing that, it's, it sounds really fucking creepy. <laughs> I just hiccuped. Oh god. Fucking crows. They need to know their places in the trees, dammit. Water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. What did I tell you about making the right fried chicken, Margaret? It's just too damn bony. But this one's boneless. No, take it back. You are making another one. <laughs> oh, that would be such a dick move. <laughs> the Mandis Processing Company. My soil shudders at what I have seen, but at last I have researched the main part of the factory. Now onwards, downwards, to find those floodwaters and drain them away. Like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of its vile cradle. Huh. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, man. Like, oh my god, what are we gonna do now? Fucking shit. Yo. Yo, people leaving their shit, making it look like a trash place. Oh, what the fuck is this? Open up. Hello, um, would you like to buy some shit in a bottle? I'm selling it for five pounds of shit. Oh, I, I know that's not a very good trade-off. You're getting practically the same thing, but, you, you know, business will be business, and sometimes they don't make sense and all, but, you know, just, if, if, if you come come outside, we can uh, conduct business. Oh, my God, I think that's the box I might need. Oh, look. There's another box I might need. Fucking no, I guess we're not supposed to fill them up. Fuck. All right, let's let's check this fucking place out. Especially since the door is glowing, it's just hitting that we must go in here. Fucking open you piece of shit. There you go. That's right. You better listen on command, fucking bastard. All right. Let's see. Let's see. The hell is in this place? What the hell is in this place? No prostitutes. No dead piggies. No annoying children. All right. Just inspecting the place for any possible documents we might find. No. Guess we're not. Oh god. Oh god, let's see what this does. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government. They make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. <laughs> All right, whatever that guy was talking about, I was just fucking around. <laughs> All right. Oh, what the? F did what? Is that the chair I was just throwing around? What the fuck? <laughs> Are you kidding me? How the fuck did it get down? <laughs> okay. Well, that makes perfect sense. Anyway, <laughs> what the fuck? That was so weird. Anyways. I'm sorry, Chair. You've got to come with us and protect us, okay? Well, actually, I have plans for this Friday. Okay. No, I have a beautiful wife and three stools. You are our shield, and and we are. I was gonna say we are the sword, but I would. I I think anything but exposing our body would be the better choice right now. <laughs> we don't want to get killed by that fucking pig thing. I, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, what the fuck was that? Dang it! <laughs> All right. All right. Well, uh, uh, well, that's that's nice and all, but Jesus Christ, you didn't have to be so obnoxious about it. 
Oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? Alright, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna move past here cause Oh what the f I just threw it! Oh my god, I just threw the fucking chair. The first time I tried doing the right click to throw it, it didn't actually work and and, and now it just worked out of nowhere. Oh my god, this is gonna make things so much funner! Ooh! <laughs> so worth it! Alright, alright. Anyways, we gotta keep moving. We can't we can't let this shit distract us, because little do we know that fucking shit could be fucking creeping up behind us and we don't even know. Alright, so oh god. Fuck you light. Don't be a dick. Alright, alright, alright. Let's let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. I think we made it our way up into another the other half of the f whatever this place is. It's like a it's like a bar slash restaurant slash lounge area. Oh god. What the fuck is going Oh my god! A train? Jesus. Let's see if I knew this thing would ring. I knew it. <laughs> Hear me, Mantis. I am compromised. Our contacts must be brief and occasional. Beware the wretches who populate this compound. The way you seek is under the pistons. When you meet the saboteur, you will understand everything. Well, I, I think I understand everything as long as I know how to throw these chairs. That's, that's all we really need to know how to do in this game. This game is throw chairs the game, you know, you just... <laughs> once you learn that, everything becomes clear. Clear as shit. You know, you know actually shit's not that clear, but... Uh! <laughs> now no one can get through that door, and we will be safe. We will be so safe from everything, and... Oh my god, there's still an opening there. They could just fucking sneak in there and kill us. Alright, never mind, let's just leave this place. It's not secure enough. I'm gonna throw this chair down there. Alright. This is... I don't know where we are. We're actually somewhere in, in I don't know. I, I don't know where the fuck we are, but this is that place. Oh! All right, let's continue. Let's fucking continue this shit. Hey, open up, you piece of shit. Fucking trying to. Oh my god, are you serious? I can't. I can't fucking get out of this place. No way. Oh, right, maybe if I do this. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. I don't think it's working, guys. Uh, what else can we do? What else can we do? I don't. I don't think there's a lot of more options than that. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't work. You know, because in this game, glass cannot break. You see, glass is invincible. So why don't we just bring around a piece of glass and we could just use that as a shield? Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Jesus Christ! All right, let's just go in here then. We have no choice but to turn back. Fuck. Works manager. What the fuck else is in here? What are we missing? Oh god, there's a. Oh god. Oh god. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Alright. Well, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving towards the noise, because that's, that's the best option right now. <laughs> uh, not really, but. It's the only way. <laughs> Why is it the only way? I know, I'm asking the same thing. Alright. Alright. Oh god. What the fuck was that? What the hell's going on down here? Coal? That's all we get for Christmas! <laughs> you piece of shit coal! I hate you! I hate you! Now, actually, you're quite a good person. You, d you don't deserve to be thrown around like that. I'm sorry and apologize for throwing you like that. Let's get in this furnace and and, 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 and hide. That's actually not a good hiding spot. <laughs> they could just fucking turn that shit on and we would have a nice heater to stay warm in the winter. Okay. Piston control room. Stop! In the name of love! Oh, no. Oh, nope. Nothing happened. All right. Oh. What about this one? What about this? Oh. What the hell? I guess they cannot be turned on for now. Oh. What? The? Why don't we bring that shit? We could fucking wreck shit with that. I'm gonna wreck it. That's all we have to do. Just wreck it. Oh God! Doors everywhere. Fuck. <laughs> Stop. Are your furnaces fueled? Oh, I see. So we have to fill them shits up. 
Alright, this bastard's already filled up, so we don't have to worry about that one. Let's grab a piece of coal. Gotta fill them shit up, man. Got to fill them shit up. Alright. Alright, coal. You're coming with me. So I guess they need at least three coals in them to work. Close that shit and turn it on. Mmm-mm. We gonna have us some good eating tonight. Some fried pork chop. God. What the fuck's going on? I think they heard us talking about dinner. Alright, I'm closing this. Fuck that. <laughs> Alright. Let's fill all these bad boys up. Oh god, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright. What's in here? Oh god, more furnaces? This is like a furnace factory. Ah, ah, ah. Get it? You know, you know, furnace factory? You know, they both start with F? You know, it's kind of like a... Ah, uh, it's, uh, it's alright. It's alright. <laughs> Where's all the fucking- Oh, there's some. Alright. What is that noise? What is that fucking noise? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Those fucking shits better not follow us. Oh my god, they do. What does it say? Lily's arms are made of steel. Lily's arms are silent. The pistons are silent. The plant is at rest. I must poke the hornet's nest to open my way, I fear. The scale of these engines suggests a far greater wax than is visible from the surface. So my friend must be cornered, and the larger part of this plant is underground. We are close to the Thames. No wonder flooding is such a risk. I see. So that's why all those flooding signs were everywhere when we were looking earlier. Danger. No entry to the under pistons when machinery is at rest. So we can't go in there until we have all those machines on. We're just looking around for some more machines. Oh, a document? October 18th, 1899. A series of collecting vents have been installed along the ceiling at this stage of the line. In the process of stunning bleeding, the product often expels sticking vapors from its digestive system, which can be collected, condensed, and used in the methane boiler to drive the engine as a whole. In this way, the more product is processed, the more power becomes available to the machine, and productivity is actually increased. A simple stroke of genius, but one that encapsulates the benefits of self-regulatory automation. Oh god, so basically they're saying that <laughs> they shock the shit out of them, they shit out Ah, uh, you know, shit. And they take the nest to Popo and they burn it. And while burning it, they're using it as coal and fuel to continue the other processes. So, after all, in the end, it does actually work out to be a quite genius idea, I say. Oh god, were we grabbing shit earlier then? Oh god! Gotta wash our hands when we go home now. <laughs> Fuck. We should have worn gloves on this adventure. Alright. Another journal entry? Fire and steel. The fires are stoked. Assuming the same architect is responsible here as with the chemical plant, I surmise that a centralized control system regulates and operates the pistons. It should be a simple matter of finding it and hoping that the saboteur relented after simply extinguishing the fires. Yeah, that way we'd be on their tail. Oh god, everything is on! Yes! Finally, it's time to move on! Let's do this! Alright, I'm closing this shit, cause... Fuck that. There you go. Boom! Oh god. Here it goes. Boom! Oh god! Oh god! Oh my god! Alright! Let's do this shit! I don't know what we're doing, but Jesus Christ! Let's move on! I don't know why the lights would need to be turned off. Oh god. Oh god! Shit! Ha! <laughs> oh fuck! You fucking piece of shit. Where'd that fucking pig go? What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, we have to go down here. <laughs> fuck, of course. That shit better not- Oh my god. Oh no, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> oh man. Why? Oh god. What if that thing runs out of fuel? We'd be stuck down here forever, because that door wouldn't open back up. It needs to be operating to be opened. And that shit would stop operating once the fuel runs out. Fuck. Alright, guys. It's so comforting to know that if this machine runs out of fuel, we'll be stuck in here forever. Oh god! Oh god, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I don't even have a spot to hide in. <laughs> no. My god. This was a horrible idea. We should have just let those bastards run where they wanted. Why? Why? Why us? Uh, what's this? Uh, we can't climb it. Fuck. It looks like coal. 
This place is too fucking dark. Oh god. Oh god, I hear noises. I hear noises and I'm not liking them. I hear fucking noises and I'm not liking them. It sounds like a raging bacon. Fuck. <laughs> it's dark and loud. We can't even hear if they're behind us. Totally thought I just saw something. <laughs> I have a bad feeling. Oh god, the fucking lights went off. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god! What the fuck is that? Oh no, sir. I didn't sign up to fuck around with that kind of shit today. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck is that thing? Oh god! I don't know if it hurt us. But it's better safe than sorry, right? <laughs> we just gotta get away from them quietly. And- OH GOD! OH GOD! NO! OH GOD! <laughs> NO! OH GOD! OH NO! WHY ARE THERE SO MANY OF THEM? JESUS CHRIST! <laughs> oh fuck! That's the last thing I wanted to see. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Oh god, I totally thought something was just right there. <laughs> That's how you know the game's fucking creeping me out. Oh, what's this shit? A document? October 21st, 1899. The product moves now into the bleeding. A system of spring-loaded blades are arranged here. Tension is built by a series of springs that run along the bleeding line, using the momentum of the product itself to build up the energy for the action ahead. The blades are released at a point of optimum tension as the product passes them. The combination of the speed of the release and the sudden stop against the rubber buffers at the side of the line sets the blade spinning rapidly enough to cut the throat of the product. It is a clean, sympathetic, and efficient process. The product then continues along the line, and the natural bleeding process is allowed time to occur. The blood collecting in the angeled basin at the foot of the line Secondary spring blades are positioned at two further points along the line. Should the mid-level rubber buffers continue to be manipulated in the form of a semi-blood product, thrashing or twitching, these movements automatically form the basis of the spring energy required to send the next bleeding blade into activity. Oh god. This truly is a machine for pigs. This is a fucking slaughterhouse. Jesus Christ! Ha! <laughs> what are those fucking pigs doing running around? Are they out to get revenge? I think this might be the way out. Ah, what is this? Finally! Let's see what's in here. Hopefully it's not more dead piggies. <laughs> oh god. The descent continues! What did that dark voice instruct me to do? Under the pistons, into the tunnels, and onto the bilge pumps. And if the doors should be locked, I will have to find another means of descent. I cannot trust him, but my path is set. I shall ignore these noises, that snuffling, those shuffling steps below me. I will brave whatever lurks beneath and I will save them. Yes, true spoken words of a hero. We will fucking do this. Let's do that. Not oh god! <laughs> Let's not die, alright? Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Alright. Haven't we done enough walking for today? Now we have to walk down long ass tunnels too? Don't know if we're going the right way. Alright. But we're going somewhere, right? That's all that matters. Aha, here's some stairs. Fucking pigs being dicks. Making it so hard for us to move on. But what are we gonna find over here? There doesn't seem to be anything of value over here. Can't open this door. Oh god, fucking bastards are laughing. What the fuck? So they really are down here. Fucking, what the fuck are they doing down here? They're just really trying to make it hard on us, aren't they? Jeez, our children are such brats. As if telling them not to go in the cellar was enough, they go into the fucking depths of the earth. Bastards. Chemical transportation. Danger. Highly corrosive. Highly flammable. I see. Are we supposed to- Get your shut up, face- face- face cock. What the fuck? Anyways, are we supposed to put some in there? No? I guess not. Alright. Oh, let's continue. Oh god, we can't open the door. I'm assuming now that we might have to put something in there to activate something. But it might be on the other side of the whole place because we can't grab anything over here. Fuck. Alright, so here's the other side, after that long venture down the middle. Maybe we can enter in here? No? Bloody doors are such bastards. What is it? Component X storage. Dangerous. No naked flames. Ha! How can flames be naked? You know, they always wear clothes. It's it's orange. They're always dressed in their pretty little orange skirts. Oh god. That's where we are now, I see. Oh god! So if we were in the penis looking thing before, and now we're under it. What is all that shit below? Is that where we already were before, or is... 
that what we have yet to see? I, I don't even know. It's got to be. There's no way we haven't seen it already. Look at this document. April 30th, 1899. The crate arrives this morning, and I had it delivered directly to the workshop. The body is remarkably preserved. Although there is a subtle yet nauseating stench of damp and rot, it is a humanoid in shape, but has suffered severe skeletal deformity. Remnants of leather straps encase the torso, which is deformed, with evidence of substantial muscle mass and displacement. It is difficult to ascertain whether this unfortunate is the recipient of some barbarous surgery, or was born deformed in an attempt to force his gnarled body into some semblance of humanity was made. What he is I cannot tell. But I smell the orb upon him, and suspect my great uncle's presence in his curious condition. So it can be done. We can reshape the body into a tool, accelerate the processes of Mr. Darwin's evolution, but here, my great uncle and I part company. He chose men as the subjects of his experiments, but men are difficult to control and rotten with sentimentality. No, we require a new creature for our chattels. Loyal, clever, strong, easily sated. Ah, so the plot thickens. I see they must have been experimenting on humans, and then they had to decide another creature to experiment on because humans are humans. They have higher strengths of resistance. And they were also experimenting on animals that changed the shapes of their bodies. The animals namely being man and pig. But no bear, eh? There's no man, bear, pig. <laughs> But yeah, I guess there's nothing for us to bring to the other side because I can't find anything that we can grab. Damn it. <laughs> so we're just going to have to go to the other side and see what we really have to do. Alright, so now we've made our way all the way back to the other damn side. And hopefully we don't have to go back anymore because we're tired of running and our feet fucking hurt. <laughs> we need to take some tell no PM when we get some rest. Hmm? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh god. Oh god. Ha! <laughs> we had to go into it, I didn't even know that. You know, that was actually one of the first thoughts I had that went through my mind because of Outlast. There was a part where you had to go into a very cramped spot just like that. But I just didn't do it, I, I, I wasn't sure. I guess, just goes to show, you should trust your intuitions. But anyways, now we're in this cramped space and we're being put somewhere, God knows where. Where are we going and where the hell did our kids go? Damn it, they keep fucking moving every time we catch up with them. And also, what's the story with those man bear pig people? Why, why are they freely roaming the labs now that they're created? I thought they would be caged up or something, yet they're, they're just out and about. Seems like they're pissed off at life though, like they want to kill us all. But what I'm really wondering is where the hell this fucking vent thing is taking us. <laughs> where do you think this weird vent is taking us? It could be anywhere. Yes, even Narnia. I guess we're just gonna have to find out in the next episode. <laughs> Hopefully it's nowhere bad though, Jesus Christ. We've seen enough of those for now. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed. I loved making this as usual. And yeah, I had a lot of fun, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Become a hero today and join the fun. I love you guys, you guys are freaking awesome, and I'll see you next time. See y'all later! Sounds really fucking creepy. <laughs> I just hiccuped. It's just too damn bony! But this one's boneless! No! Take it back! You are making another one! <laughs>